Boom! What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cali D Hino with another installment of Guy Rose. And if this is the first time watching my channel or video, bienvenidos, welcome. What this channel is is basically self-development, self-improvement with the perks of women in a better quality of life. Anyways, so with that being said, this is Guy Rule number 17, Stop Watching Porn. Now, you can either take it in two ways here. You can either take it in a good way or in a bad way. But this video, it's in a bad way. Why? Because when you watch porn, not only are you frying your brain and re rewriting your brain to have an overload, uh, overload fuck i've been saying overlord for like the past five minutes because i was doing another video i was doing another one you know to get this shit out but um overload to get it's an overload um of constant stimulation in your brain of uh tons of females within the matter of seconds minutes hours you know so since you're bombarding your brain with uh the sexual stimuli you eventually start losing all senses of what is actually attractive and appealing to you as in a real girl. Why? Because you're so used to seeing big asses and big booties and fucking jizz all over their face. And, you know, don't get me wrong. There's some bomb ass scenes out there. Are just like, damn, you know, click, save that shit. Bloop, and, you know, but, you know, you start to build up a habit. It's actually an addiction. That's why I call it porn addiction. Why? Because it's the same as uh, as somebody being on crack, you know, cocaine, whatever. Why? Because you're releasing endorphins and dopamines and all these good emotional chemical feelings in your brain. And since you're not, you know, you're not having that release, which is at the end that, you know, that high, you know, you dive into it more and more and more and more. And when you try to break the habit, you know, it becomes an addiction and it becomes very hard. Some people actually go through like, you know, psychiatrists and you know they go through like certain classes and courses to get this habit out because they're just so you know into it that um it just consumes their life and sadly some people lose their job you know lose their family just because of porn addiction why because they desensitize desensitize their brain to have a whole bunch of women you know in a short amount of time within seconds and they just don't you know they can't find that you know that real woman to please them and you know they get into this bad habit but you know if you're porn i'm not saying that porn is completely bad it's not you know if you're watching it for educational purposes you and your girlfriend or you and you're in a relationship or whatever um you know you can learn a lot you learn you can learn how to you know i call it the lime prounce it's the shit you know but my legs i've been hitting the legs so hard man that i don't even want to do it at times just like i'm like, mm, getting that bitch anyways um yeah but you know when i was growing up i've always heard like oh, i don't want to what men man and you know what's her face uh missy elliott made a made a whole song about i don't want no one want no minute man i tell you what i've been in that situation where i've been the one minute man but fuck that. Once you get your cardio up and you start running and working out, you get that blood pumping again, that one minute turns into like 45,000 seconds or 45 minutes an hour. So say, so do your cardio. If you're working out, do your cardio. Man, anyways. Uh, but anyways, when I was growing up, I was... Um, I was learning about, you know, sexual activity and just going to Barnes and Nobles and just sitting my ass there for about an hour or two and just reading as much as I could and whatever interested me in sex so that that way when I grew up, I didn't have that problem of not knowing what to do when it came to females, you know, they're erogenous zones, I think that's how you could pronounce it, and um, they're, uh, they're, you know, just... Every single aspect of a woman that, you know, how to please a woman, how to, you know, go down, go downtown on her, how to chomp the shit, how to bite, how to nibble, how to do everything. But once you start watching porn, you know, um, you lose all track of that. You know, you, you know, like when I was a kid, my sexual drive, my testosterone, my, you know, my, my hormones were just raging and that's what you cut off when you watch porn, your sexual drive, 
your raging hormones, your man cave intuition and needs are totally <laughs> shut off. Why? Because you know that when you see that hot chick, you know, at the at the bar at the club or just walking down the street, you're gonna feel all these all this like all these negative emotional feelings because you're like, no, well, I don't wanna go up, blah, blah, this and that. Not only are you gonna think that first, but you can just be like, well, I'm gonna go home and I got tons and tons of girls online that I can bust a nut to. And so I don't really have to worry and I don't have to go approach. I don't have to go talk to girls. I don't have to do any of this. I don't have to get rejected. I don't have to feel any bad emotions because why? Because Raylene from Vivid is gonna bust me my nut or Sunny Sunny Lane. <sighs> Sunny Lane is, you know, you're gonna make me happy once I go home, eat me a churro and fucking knock the fuck out. No. Stop watching porn. If you watch porn more than three times a week, some mm -mm, don't do that. Once a week is fine. You know, it ain't completely bad, but it's not good. Okay? Why? Because of that same reason. Your masculine drive, your masculine polarity, that boom, that fucking, you know, you grab a girl, be like, hey girl, what's your name? Come here. Boom. Oh yeah? That's cool. Blah, blah. That's gone. It's not there anymore. And that's what women are attracted to. Um, I watched a video um, from RSD. It's called Transformation, which is a fucking shit. Um, and then this guy, he used to be a coach, not anymore. His name is Tim. And um, he said that some guy told him that basically, and I'm, you know, quoting him, he said that women, all they really want is to be taken. Now imagine if a girl came up to you, okay? Just you, you're sitting alone at the bar, whatever you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing with your friends, drinking, smoking, whatever. And all of a sudden a girl goes, you, come here. And you're like, what the fuck? And then she like gets really close to you and she's like, hi, what's your name? And you're like, uh, David. And all of a sudden she's like, oh yeah, you're really cool. And she looks at you, like staring at you like if you were the last Coke in the desert. That you were the last water bottle on earth. And you feel that polarity. You feel that bam. You're just like, fuck. You actually back up a little because it's too strong for you. Then all of a sudden she grabs your hand and pulls you and like, you know what? I want you to fuck the shit out of me. Why? Because I haven't had any in like about three days. And you're just like... <laughs> okay, that mask, that female polarity is what you're supposed to have all the time. Not, you know, that crazy. There's been times where I've actually done it like you, come here, boom, let's go. And um, some, some females like that, others don't. But what I'm getting to is that polarity. You have to have that drive. You have to have that caveman, wolf, gorilla, lion, alpha male type of shit, type of drive to get that female to go talk to her, to feel that sexual vibe from you, fun, playful, attractive sexual vibe that you can't get at home while you're watching porn. So don't watch porn. Keep it to a minimum. Once a day for like a minute or so. You know, bust your nut really quick, bounce the fuck out, go do something, go work, go work out, go read a book, do something. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, hopefully you guys like this video. You guys see ya. Your boy Kelly D.